it's true that when I'm trying to get back to January 12, seeing people running without knowing exactly where they are going, saying that people are hearing about, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh Jesus, what can we do? It was, it was a bad time. It was, it was really a bad time. But two days after, as a technical director, I realized with my team that we still have a mission. If we survive from this catastrophe, it's because that we have a mission. So we, I cannot say that we put away or aside our emotion, our feelings, but we did exactly what we thought was the best thing to do. The best thing to do is to unify ourselves as a team and to see how we can better assist the people that have been really injured at this time. I think we need not only to rebuild infrastructure, we need to rebuild the people. I really think that our mission now is not only to rebuild the infrastructure, to rebuild services, but to rebuild people, to have a new nation. That's, that's what I think we, as a project, we will focus on it. We will go beyond our mandate. We will provide care, continue to provide services, continue to respond to additional needs now that we have the cholera situation, but we will go beyond that and try to meet people. I will stop being a believer the day I will die. If I sit there, I have to believe in the, making a difference. I have to believe in people. I have to give them hope for them to give me back the hope that I need to make my own. So I still believe there's a way to make a difference in this future.